And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe's Peak. This is going to be our last meme tier deck today. This one's going to be a deck with Targon's Peak, the new Targon landmark. Round start, reduce the cost of a random card in each player's hand to zero this round. With a crazy top end with Skies Descend, Feel the Rush, Aurelian Soul, big top end with these trying to make trying to get zero mana feel the rush or zero mana skies descend or zero mana aurelian soul those are all incredibly powerful but now but going with that with a deck that's not just relying on ramping into targon's peak and then hope that you have targon's peak and hope you hit the expensive stuff instead going with uh combining that with a bunch of uh invoke and celestials and with zoe and because zoe's good at at slowing the game down like your opponent has to try to kill your zoe when you get your super cool star charts that you know get you really good powerful celestial cards your spacey sketcher getting your powerful celestial cards solari priestess the same thing so we're going to be playing like just like regular units out here interacting with the opponent instead of just doing nothing nothing ramp nothing <laughs> you know like that kind of stuff um so you know like we'll have all this stuff out get get celestials be able to play them and then still have this incredible top end with targon's peak and these very powerful cards plus with all the invoke in our deck maybe we can get enough celestials and dragons that we're actually just casting the skies descend instead of only relying on it with targon's peak we'll have eclipse dragon in here too um, where eclipse dragon if we play it with daybreak will we can have turn seven eclipse dragon turn eight to Rillian soul so we'll have that nice little combo in here and then we're also gonna have battling beard another like little mid-range thing that we can play that's good at blocking and everything, but then also we'll draw Eclipse Dragon and Aurelian Soul for us and our one hit that stare sometimes. Um, we'll be able to draw those and have those in our hand for our Targon's Peak or just to continue on with that. Um, so Avalanche for some removal and uh, ways to slow down the opponent. And that's our deck. Looks pretty solid, honestly. Like we should be able to be doing some pretty cool invoking and uh, we have some, you know, big time power with Targon's Peak and these other cards. But it's not only what our deck's about. It's not like we're just only relying on that. So we'll give it a try. We're calling it Zoe's Peak. We're just playing it in normal today. And uh, let's go. All right, Zoe's Fate against Zoe's Peak. Twisted Zoe. You could also say. All right, let's mulligan them all, actually. Let's just kind of start over. Okay, we got Targon's Peak. I wish I would've kept the Solari Priestess right now, as you, you can see, but I kind of wanted, like, thinking that they had turn one Zoe, I wanted to kind of look for something that would be kind of better against their turn one Zoe than what we had. All right, we'll get the Priestess back. Wow, every Targon's Peak. Uh, good news, we cannot draw Targon's Peak anymore. That's the good news. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. And so I can play Meteor Shower this next turn to try to kill the Zoe. Where do you stand on cold shots? I'm kind of expecting. Uh, um. All right, so they have like the fleeting card. They're gonna want to play that fleeting card. I'm kind of expecting, like, our first Targon's Peak to, like, make the other Targon's Peak zero, and, and then that's going to kind of be sad, and so we're just going to be playing, like, more Targon's Peaks, and, like, while they're just going to be unloading their hands. So th this could go poorly, but then again, we have this Feel the Rush, this Hit That Stairs. We have some power with that. Wiggly Burblefish, that's a really underrated card. In 
U-turn, traveler, and stop staring. All right, I'm I'm killing the Zoe. Okay. Yeah, it was at seven out of ten. Man, that card is good. That's why. That's why we're playing it. It is good. Shut down this Mentor of the Stones. Alright, if that stair is costing zero, that could be good. Looking into the future, I see purple. Two damage to all the other units, please. There we go. That was pretty clutch. Now we can go Nightfall Dragon. Yeah, let's go Nightfall Dragon. Create some more cool expensive stuff in our hands for our Targon's Peak. This, this is pretty sweet. I like playing Targon's Peak with... This has been pretty nice. Tyron speak with like, you know, just interaction and celestials and stuff like that and not just only ramp cards. <laughs> of course it was Zoe. Oh, we got zero mana Zoe. That's funny. Wait a minute. <laughs> the only the only cheap card in our hand. Okay, yeah, they conceded. Because, yeah, we're going to have... Like, we we're, were looking good that game. You're like, we're going to have another... Like, basically, this turn, I was going to be able to go Avalanche, and then Zoe, and then the dog. And we we're going to have all expensive stuff for our Targon's Peak. Their deck was pretty weak against Avalanche effects. And we had three of our four Avalanche effects. Well... Let's go out, go all out with this Targon's Peak. I a message from... Oh, hey, what's that? Explosives Prime. So, you know, hopefully Targon's Peak hits Sky's Descent. If not, maybe it hits Aurelian Soul. They'll never see it coming. No one's the wiser. So we could have like basically this this Targon's Peak is going to be awesome. Um, but we're a little this bit away from it. So we could hit like the zero mana challenger. That's what I want. Ugh, not zero mana challenger. I guess I take... Actually, yeah, we just take the Moonsilver. And so we go Targon's Peak next turn. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. This is lots of damage. Damn it. Okay. Hit one of these first cards, especially Skies Descend, please. Skies Descend. Skies Descend. 
We feast tonight, Bar. Come on, skies descend. Yes. Let's go. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Now they play Darius. Smell that Varg? Fear. Okay. We got Skies Ascend. Now they could still play Darius if they have it. Hopefully not. Yo, know, right, like hopefully it's just not Darius. Hopefully something else. Ooh, just pass. Okay, well I could I could attack for three. I just want to I just want to pass, right? That three, I don't I don't even risk. Um, and we got another Skies Ascend. I don't even want to risk like attacking for three and then they play Darius afterwards. After the attack. I didn't want to risk that last turn. Silly. The light of my star warms the heavens. I rise. And I'll just gain the four. Never mind, gain the two. It's still clutch against Darius, gaining that too, that's important. Get in the portal! Now we're gonna hit one of these four with Targon's Peak. I'd say that all four of these are a pretty good hit with Targon's Peak. Maybe Skies Ascend less than the others, currently. All right, I'll take that one. My axe is ready. And see, that's why we're back up at twelve. Once I'm free, that's the Look second thing I'll do. I guess if they have might in hand, let's see. So might, I guess maybe I need to block here. Cause that'd be five. I guess no. I guess Mike doesn't doesn't kill us either way. Oh, and I have, I have harsh winds. What am I doing? Never mind. Right, harsh winds. That's a card. He <laughs> said this must be insanely demoralizing for the opponent. I know, right? The the zero made us guys descend. It was over after that. At my now, you know. And then all this other zero mana stuff. I do love an audience. I only get one of the two, either a Zoe or a Aurelian Soul. I only get one of the two. But still, I'm gonna play Kid. Nice. 13 13 Aurelian Soul. We'll have the skies descend. Because that's a sweet animation. Gotta play that. There we go. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Ooh. I like this matchup. This is a real slow deck. And playing a whole bunch of Invoke and Celestials in Targon's Peak against a very slow deck. That's a good thing to do. I could keep an Avalanche for just in case, I suppose, but nah. 
Hey, Amuni. Hope life's been treating you well. I must get out of here. All right, Gucci, you're back. Yeah, go ahead and start predictions. These old eyes still see far and clear. Pass turn. They're out there. I'll spot them. So our last game we just played against, you know, Darius, Freljord, Overwhelm, you know, like and like all of the all of like the really aggressive Noxus stuff. And we had um we had Zoe hit them once. And so with, with Zoe hitting them, we made the super cool star chart. The super cool star chart got us a moon silver, which we needed to make our Targon's peak cost um, to make it cost four mana instead of five, which was necessary. Like we needed it on turn four, and then we played it on turn four, and then it, it immediately made Skies Descend cost zero to save us to have Skies. Des so turn five, zero mana Skies Descend. So that's what we used to be able to win that one. That was pretty sweet. So this is Karma Thrash that we're playing against right now. Living Legends. Water changes but never breaks. Oh, they both hit Hush. Wow, worst possible scenario. They both hit Hush. River shape the land and give it life. So we got one deny out of their hand. Will the waters take? You know, deny is of course a really valuable card, and so one of them's gone. I can't believe both Targon's peaks hit Hush. They have ten cards in hand right now. I could have made. I guess I could have just passed to them and see what they did with the ten cards. But obviously, for me, all right. So two denies out of their hand. Obviously, for me, I want to get cards out of my hand to make, you know, better better options for my Targon's Peak. How, what, how do they... Okay, no, but I was going to say, how do they keep hitting the same thing? But no, they didn't hit the same thing there. Alright, got rid of that Thresh. Targon's Peak hasn't helped us out too much yet. Okay, Destroyer or Cosmic Inspiration? Probably the Destroyer.
If they would have passed to me, I would have passed the turn and ended the turn and not attacked, but obviously they have they're gonna have priority again anyway. Join the conflagration. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna get, just get rid of this harsh winds while it's zero mana. Basically using it for zero mana to you know add three health to my destroyer. Yeah, definitely worth it. There we go. So we've we've gotten two denies out of their hand so far. And obviously they can have your ruinations, all that kind of stuff. I want I want to play this first though, because I want my Eclipse Dragons to be Nightfall. Right? I want to keep on getting more gas with Nightfall. That's with them. the second thing I'll do. Yeah, I'm expecting like ruination. Alright, get rid of like the bad cards out of my hand that I don't want Targon's Peak to hit. The answer lies within. Good draw. Let's go infinite. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. I'm not too scared of ruination because if they ruination away karma, that's a win for me. Yeah, I got I got puppy here. Onslaught of shadows. There we go, got the third deny out of their hand. Perfect. Reconsider. That's what I was hoping. I was hoping that I would get his deny out of their hand. Forward. Death. No, 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 no. Let's 
definitely what I was hoping. So they've played all three of their denies now. So this would mean I go to eight. Which I think I can afford going to eight. I, mean, I could also just go to... Yeah, I could just block here, I guess. Go to ten. It's fine. Okay, so right now, this costs 11 mana. If I play this, it would cost 9 mana. So I could play the Traveler first and then the Skies Ascend, as long as they don't kill my Traveler. I've become who I was always meant to be. There we go. Dude, the Skies Descend has been so clutch for us. It's so good that we're playing three Skies Descend. That card has been so clutch for us. That was awesome. Skies Descend, we are three and O. Oh. Yeah, that's what we were trying to do. Boom ship with Unyielding Spirit. That's what we were trying to do there. All right, Fiora Zoe. Love the Targon's Peak. I like this hand, just in general. This is a good hand for this matchup. Because this matchup, we don't we don't really want to just throw a whole bunch of uh, cheap units down in this matchup in general anyway. And give you know give their Fiora fuel, but it's worth playing, Zoe. We can look for like some Equinoxes, Silence, some stuff. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. In the blade. Strike quick, Olga. Thought about thought about just casting the avalanche first to not give them the Fiora kill. And just have their Fiora be a three one and not let them get the Fiora kill. But decided like I'm not really going to be playing too many other units, so who knows? You never you never know. That avalanche could have maybe done something. Do I play the Priestess and give them another kill for Fiora? Because Priestess can find me more removal, more Fiora removal. I think so. It's only just a second kill. That is not more Fiora removal. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. That was not a good Solari Priestess. Mystical levitation requires concentration. That was not a good Solari Priestess. My spirit shines. Witness glory! Whee! No. Believe or burn. I think they just probably just did that too quickly. That'd be my guess. Yeah, they just did that too quickly and forgot to challenge. You know, just kind of clicked the OK button too fast. I hope that we make these gems cost zero. With them having those gems in hand. I hope we make those cost zero. A uh, rally? Well, I'm, I'm glad we blocked the Mentor the Stones. A rally is basically just single combat. I have no equal. Hmm. 
All right, sky's the sand. That's where we're going to put it, right on here. See? Told you. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Nothing escapes my watch. Like, I hope they tap under Bastion. I don't really know why they would, but I hope they do. I kind of have to go for it. I can't, and I can't, like, attack first, because they could block, and then I go Skies Ascend, and then they go single combat, and I lose. So it's basically, you know, Bastion or Bust for them. Hopefully Bust. Oh, the last card they just drew was Bastion. No. All right, we made a gem cost zero. Hopefully it works. They need single combat or Bastion. Hopefully no neither. Yes. Okay. Now we probably win this game. Like that's that's what they needed was single combat or Bastion. Always two steps ahead. Because that Fiora still has to kill uh, four things. And it looks like we're gonna be four zero and taking our deck over to ranked. That's what we do if our our main tier deck goes four zero for, for the fifth game. They are a hush deck. They can, like, you know, hush my Zoe and block the Zoe if I attack with Zoe. I do love an audience. But then I would have harsh winds also. I'll just do that. I'll just done. No, Feel the Rush is two is only two different champions. So if you just have one champion in your deck, you do not get two copies of the same champion. So there's the hush. They did have the hush. We can stun again. And there we go, GG's. See you next time, Runeterra! You just won't let me stop heading for you. Alright. So we're back over to so we're heading over to ranked with our meme tier decks. We're four and zero, gonna try to finish out the five and zero, playing against Yasuo Katarina in ranked. So Yasuo Katarina is going to be uh, like they're gonna have deny for feel the rush. Probably don't really need hush. Let's we're, I'm gonna keep Zoe and Mulligan the rest. I guess we got some champions. Kind of looking for, um, yeah, looking for a Targon's Peak. We could also discard a Rillian Soul to our Spacey Sketcher if we need to find some cheaper cards. Got some Targon Speaks. Mm. So certainly assume they're going to Blade's Edge. The Zoe. I can play backup Zoe if that's the case.
So we're even on cards again, six and six. Discard a Targon's Peak. Good thing I didn't discard a Targon's Peak. Add the backup. They're they're not just it's not about saving one health, it's about me not creating a super cool star chart. That's what that's about. The um The Steel Tempest on the Zoe. They've had some good stuff. They're down to just three cards. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Anything for the right coin. Guess that's one way to do it. I'm getting warmed up. All right, so they can attack for ten. Late never gets any lighter. Is usually pretty good. Bask in her radiant blessing. I guess I'll go with this meteor shower. Deal four to the Yasuo. All will kneel before Noxus. Noxus always wants something from my aliens. Even I have good days. Feel the rush. Awesome. No zero mana deny from Targon's Peak. No, they took the Aurelian Soul from hand. Oh, I don't want that. At last, I have found you. Yone, turn back while you can. I will follow this path until the end. Man, this is brutal. So getting the Spacey Sketcher out here so that they kill my Spacey Sketcher. You should stay back, cowards. Okay, we haven't played any select like we should Okay, three. We played three celestials so far. I'm forcing them, like, they've had a ton of stun cards so far. Yeah, like, I'm forcing them to have more stun cards here by putting lethal on with the elusive. Like, that's what I'm doing. They do not. Because, yeah, they, they had a ton of stun cards already. Did not have another one. They only had two cards in hand. Neither of them were stunned, and we get the win. All right, so that's 5-0 and oh for Zoe's Peak. This was pretty sweet. This was a good Targon's Peak deck. Yeah, like the other Targon's Peak decks that we've played, for the most part, we've we've played a, a couple of different versions. Um, but this, but um, usually they're like kind of all in on your Targon's Peak, right? Like hoping that uh, you have Targon's Peak and then you can cast your stuff. While we did have some really expensive cards, Feel the Rush, Aurelian Soul, Skies Ascend, these aren't easy to cast. We weren't necessarily only relying on Targon's Peak. Zoe was a really good champion in this deck, I think, because. 
but you know like other times we played Aurelian Soul we've always had you know like your Trundles and Trindamirs and Leonas and all that kind of stuff all kinds of like slower champions having like the the Zoe out here I think really changed the game like think about like just even that last game that we played we had turn one Zoe then they, they were using a bunch of their stun cards to keep the Zoe from hitting them multiple times though we were hitting our opponent and getting super cool star charts so we were like doing cool stuff with the super cool star charts we had the one game where the super cool star chart saved us by grabbing moon silver against the aggro deck so we could play turn four targon's peak that allowed us to have turn five skies descend that uh saved us in one game um i think this zoe was a really good champion in here being a cheap card and uh, giving us a whole bunch of good stuff to play early on in the game. I think that that was better than just playing ramp cards. Yeah, I, I really do. I think that that was better than just going, you know, Catalyst of Aeons and, and stuff like that. Because, like, imagine, like, that last game, if we were just going, like, Catalyst of Aeons and then Targon's Peak, and then they use their uh, card to destroy the Targon's Peak. Like, we're, we're just so far behind at that point. Um... So yeah, that was that was uh, pretty awesome, um, and it and it worked out really well. You know, like the Eclipse Dragon getting like the Nightfall was important against the Karma deck. Uh, let's see, getting us those extra Celestials to play. Babbling Bjerg was just pretty good, you know, drawing us into our Aurelian Souls and Eclipse Dragons and stuff like that. So just pretty awesome deck. There we go, Zoe's Peak. This this one worked out really well. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube. Later on, hit that like button. Give this deck a try. Let me know what you think. You know, like I know this, we had this here on meme tier day, but I, I think this deck was good enough for ranked. I honestly do. I think this was because like we played some good matchups. It's not like we were, um, you know, playing against uh, just random decks. Like I guess our one ranked deck, <laughs> the one ranked matchup we played, we did play against the Yasuo deck. Besides that, we played against some very good decks, and uh, our deck was pretty impressive. Um, yeah, we, we got a bunch of good RNG during, during those games as well. All right, but that's Zoe's Peak. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you for the next video.